Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Welcome. October 15th, 2024. Thank you for joining me today. And we have another what to do with old unwanted photos because I'm still a little under the weather so I wanted something not too complicated and involved. But first the usual thank yous and appreciation to Martha, Terry, Kylie, Sandy, Carice, Ingrid, Jennifer, Susan, Belline, Anna Dora, Susan, Brittany, Paula, Uta, Maritza, Neda. I, I hope I am pronouncing those right. Thank you so much for your orders and your comments and watching my videos. And Beth, wish it were Violet. Thank you so much for your nice comment on the last video. And um, I appreciate it very much. I'm guessing maybe you like purple. And uh, I'm not sure though. Let me know if I'm correct. But that reminds me of my Aunt Patty who loved purple. And she had a purple countertop in her kitchen. That's how much she loved purple. So I don't know if I'm correct or not. But let me know if you're watching. New product, Little Notes. I don't know if you remember something like this from Delicate Florals, but I thought it was so sweet and I wish I could come up with something else similar, so I did. And I have this Little Notes <clears throat> papers, background pages. Um, they have these like denim, pattern, backgrounds, <laughs> and then um, little notebook pages. So, and ephemera. I didn't print out any of the ephemera, but this would be so sweet for a teenager. It's so, it's so casual and can't wait to uh, play around with this a little bit. Love it. And I hope you will too. So okay, last week we did. First I'm going to show you the ones from the hologram that weren't dry by the time we finished. And um, the flowers, of course, turned out fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. A couple, there was not enough contrast, so they didn't turn out. But nevertheless, those can still be used. And I can just... Um, layer things with those ones so you don't have to toss them or you can it's up to you and then this one was half and half so that was the um, crackle the antique bronze I believe and the glitter extreme glitter Yes, that one was okay. So I just took a couple more designs and did the brushed effect from the same paper and then chose another part with more contrast and that came out fine. So there's that. Okay, so things develop. And then I moved on to uh, my hidden writing. I did that with my Whimsical Autumn. 
Love that, but a little time consuming. So then I moved on to the aging photographs and tried it again with the silver. So, so. Let me bring these up so I can see what you're seeing here. Don't love it. I went over it with a light wash of black acrylic, thinking I could make it come out better, but don't like that as much. Again, um, that's the silver. I really, I'm never happy with silver, <laughs> silver metallic paint. Um, these were the ones I went over with the extreme glitter because I didn't like my stamping. And those just ended up in a photo because I did that after the video. And then I tried copper. And I just, um, I just obliterated everything except for the image and I don't know if you can see the stamping on there got a better stamp um, okay tried the copper then moved on tried a few other things my head in writing don't like that as much you can barely even see that there. Maybe that's a little better. Um, that barely worked at all because that's a text embossing folder. Don't, don't like that embossing folder. And then tried it again with a different folder with the same house. So okay, things evolve. That's how it goes. So today we're going to do something like this, which is stamping, stamping, and then applying over a photograph and it's kind of like a cute little postcard. This is a scene across the street from my old house and here I tried the church and again my stamping wasn't the greatest but I'm going to show you how to fix an area if you don't like it and that's what we're going to do today. So, you will need your crappy photos. Okay, your unwanted photos. Photos you might discard or you have a lot. Like I said, mine are old reference photos from my painting days. So, they could be anything. Anything, <laughs> anything, church, flowers, things like that. And I think what I'm going to try today is, I don't know, I don't know, because Maybe that. We'll see. So you'll need your photos. You'll need some tissue paper. You'll need some glue. You'll need some ink. And you'll need some stamps. And I think that's about it. And some, did I say tape? Yes, you'll need some tape. And I'm just using a uh, blue masking tape here. 
So let's see. Um, you you'll want to choose a focal point. And I'm trying to think here which ones have a good enough focal point. I'll try those two in addition to having my stamps show up. Okay. I guess these four are contenders. So what you're going to do is we're going to tape this down so it's secure. I'm still thinking here. Um, I'll choose one of these two. Okay, I'll, I'll probably do this one for you, for your sake because it has a obvious focal point, which is the sunflowers. So I'm just going to tape this down, and you can do this either way. You can glue your tissue paper on top and then begin stamping, but I'm just going to hinge mine because then if you mess up the stamping, you don't have to throw away the entire photo. And did I say one of the stamps you might want is a background stamp? like um, something like this and I'm going to use this Tim Holtz one because it already has a film strip okay something like that and if you don't have that you could try using a stencil and stencil on a little background if you don't want to use a background stamp something like that. And we're going to start with, let me move up a little bit so we can make sure you see that. We're going to start with three colors and that's going to be the hard part for me because my favorite color is My favorite colors are running out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a piece to make sure it fits over my photo. And then I'm just going to hinge it there on the side. With another little piece of tape like so. Okay. And then we'll begin with our background stamp. And I'm probably going to have to start with vintage photo. Um, vintage photo. See, I'd like to use neutral colors again, which I used on this. I used gray, brown, and black, and my gray is too dried out, unfortunately, because I use gray all the time. So I think I'm going to go with um, Vintage Photo Espresso. And um, maybe an orange. I 
peanut brittle, Morocco, or maybe rusty hinge. So those are going to be my three. So vintage photo is probably my lightest. So I'm going to um, keep in mind where my focal point is, which is the sunflowers. I'm going to stamp everywhere except where my focal point is. Okay. Hopefully. I should have a piece of paper here to test this. color first. Make sure everything's going to stamp because this vintage photo is pretty old too. Okay, good enough. Get some ink on here. Okay. So it looks like I have enough room on this side to get this whole stamp in here. I'm going to start with my lightest color. I'm just going to go around my focal point. Making sure I can still see it. And it looks like it's probably going to end up something like that. And maybe I can get a little bit here. And a tiny bit on top. Okay. So there's color number one. That's a little crooked, but okay. What else is new? It's me. Okay, now the second one is going to be the espresso truffle. So I'm going to randomly stamp some words. Around my focal point. With the espresso truffle. And hope there is enough contrast. Between those two colors. Okay, there is. See, there we go. And I can still see my image. Try to pay attention to where the edges of my photograph are. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> the other day when I did my video, um, this cold, not too thrilled with that. That's a little dark, but that's okay. It, this cold, Maybe feel like I couldn't breathe. So when I started my video last time, I was literally out of breath. And then finally that went away. I'm trying to see where my true edge is here. Should have I'm gonna put a tiny piece of tape 
so that I can flatten that out a little bit so I can see where my edge is. Okay, so I did beautiful three times. So I'm going to move on to have a nice day. And I'm going to do that three times. Somewhere. I just make sure that's going to show up. Otherwise, I'm be moving to something darker, black. This is similar to something I wanted to do. And then the person was using distress oxides and I didn't realize that. So I only have a couple of those. So I couldn't do it. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm going shopping again. You can forget that. Unless I see something on clearance. I'm not buying any more craft supplies. When I can make stuff up. Yeah, I have a lot of space up there, it seems like. Yeah, I do. Okay. Another. Another word. Let me get my friend and love. Oh no, that's sunshine. Let me get some of that in there. And uh, love, where's my friend? Where'd you disappear to? Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want sunshine in there. Somewhere I have garden. I don't know where it is. That might be nice for this. Okay, that turned out good. Just a couple more. Um, let's go down here. And then, okay, I'm going to move on to my third color. <clears throat> Let me choose which one I want here because I got to make sure it shows up and becomes like a focal color. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if that's bright enough. Let me try this one. I like it, but... Okay, I'm going to go with the brighter one. Oh, boy, I, I, I would never normally use that color. Let me try this butterscotch or what is it? Peanut brittle. I don't think that's, I don't think it's going to work. Um, I 
I don't know. I kind of like the rusty hinge the best. Let's just try one. <clears throat> See what happens. <clears throat> Let me change my word. <clears throat> Let me get my friend. Let's see if we can get it in here to stand out a little bit. Here goes nothing. Okay, not bad. And I'm still keeping my sunflowers visible for now. Um, let's try that over here. Oh boy, that didn't show up at all. So let's get a smaller word. Love. And just see if we can tuck that in where we can. And then I might try some numbers. Let me just... Tuck that in right there. And up there a little bit. That didn't show up. I lost the L. Let's just do it again. Now if I had used red or something like that, that would have worked. We need some over here. So let's try a couple of numbers. In Um, probably something like this. I think just seven, eight, nine. I don't want that many. Okay. Be brave and hope. Should I do those in dark or orange? Let me try orange. Rusty hedge. Um, it's a little muddy. I should probably cut these apart, but I don't, I don't want to, because then I'll probably lose them. You know what, let me try that in dark. Let's 
see if that works better. Yeah, that's much better. I think those will help salvage <laughs> salvage a lot there. I can get it straight. Okay. And where else am I looking a little? Um, let's try right there. Okay. I think that's enough. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> Get some space here. Unhinge that. And it actually stamped through a little bit. <laughs> but we're going to do that. So we're just going to take a glue stick. Well, I don't know. Let me see. I'm just going to use one that I hope will dry fast. Now you have to be careful with this. This one's almost empty. When you see your paper turning matte, you know you got glue stick everywhere. When you see your photo turning matte, <laughs> no shine. <clears throat> then you know you got glue stick everywhere. Don't forget your corners. Don't need a lot. Tissue paper doesn't take a lot of glue. Flip it back. Smooth it out. Okay. <clears throat> Not too bad. this tape off here. Get my tape off the back. Trim it out. This is helping us give it a little drying time. In between the cold and the driving. Oh, I was so tired yesterday. It was like the, the entire time my daughter being home and preparing and shopping and driving. and It's like everything finally caught up with me. <clears throat> And yesterday I just crashed. <clears throat> okay, not too bad. So here's the fun part. And this is the part where you have to be careful and make sure that this is dry because if I had used my purple glue stick and I had to wait 20 hours for it to dry, 
I might risk a tear and that's what happened in this one and then I had to do a washi tape repair so you're going to get your creamiest glue and if you have to warm it up a little bit and then we are going to go over the top with our glue stick and that is what is going to help make this tissue paper a little more transparent and hopefully it's working here because I have a lot of white in this photo it's going to make it a little more transparent so that the photo shows through And I do not think, since we're at 37 already, I do not think I am going to have time to do two. And there's that, that sky in that photo was pretty white, so there isn't going to be anything showing up on top there except the stamp. So only where there was some more green are you going to see. Any transparency. Are you going to be able to differentiate is what I mean. But that will also help seal your photo or seal your little postcard here. And I would say that's why I chose my memento because those stamps um, wouldn't bleed that rusty hinge. I'm not sure if that would bleed or not. I think it would actually. I wish my I wish that wasn't so muddy. So I might put a washi tape over there just to show you. If you don't like something you can hide it. But I'm just going to let that dry. See if I can bring out a little more of that sunflower. But here is where if you were, if your first glue was still wet, you would, you would probably tear that tissue paper. So you got to be very careful when you do the second one, second coat. A little trim there. And of course, if you want an edge, you can put an edge border. I think I'm just going to leave mine. And um, okay, let's see real quickly here. If I do anything quickly, <laughs> I'll do another one. See, I took that. It's possible. <sighs> do I dare take if it's paintable? <laughs> Probably not. Um... Do I dare get that word fresh? Let me see. That's pretty bright. Let's try it. Let's try it. That'll add a different color. Oh, look how inky my hands are already. 
Let's just see. I could do the word naturals. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to give up. And I'll find something after. I'll do that off camera. Uh, no. It's not working either. Okay. I'm going to be finding something off camera to cover that area. And we're going to call this one a day. But that's, uh, that's a good idea. It's almost completely dry. And that... That white is pretty white on there, but I can go over it again. See if I can make it a little more transparent. With a different kind of uh, blue stick. Maybe that's a little more. Maybe it's just not dry enough yet underneath. It's kind of similar to the wax paper. You have to wait until the entire thing dries. So let me just bring this up so you can see. And that's how we are going to hide another unwanted photo and use, um, use what we have basically so okay everyone thanks so much for your time hopefully I'll be feeling better and get back on set schedule by Thursday to do something don't know what yet but we'll do something thanks again bye